Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Medieval Pro. I hope you guys will be fine and doing great and enjoying your good lives. Okay, so today we are going to discuss all about the medical coding basic course. So we have already initiated, you guys know that, the medical billing coding course. So today we are going to start our third lecture in this series. Okay, so this lecture is going to be all about ICD-11 clinical modification coding basics. So we will see that what are the basics of coding. Okay, so how our ICD code is just made up of different kind of characters. Okay, so what is basic their meanings? So we will just see all that kind of a stuff in this lecture. Okay, so we will see that how and when ICD-11 came into existence or came into action. Okay, so without wasting time, let's start the lecture. Okay, so first of all, we are just going to see what is the introduction to ICD-11 CM clinical modification. As you guys can see that the ICD-11 clinical modification, international classification of disease, 11th review in clinical modification is a system used to code and classify diagnosis, symptoms, and procedures in healthcare settings. We all know that uh, when a provider is going to render different kind of a services to patients, so all those kind of a diagnosis, okay, so all those kind of a symptoms or injuries are being coded into specific codes. These codes are basically called as International Classification of Diseases, or ICD. Okay, so it is a vital for medical billing, research, and public health ensuring that medical services are rendered in a standardized way. Yes, uh, you guys know that. So all those kind of uh, ICD codes need to be compliant with the rules and regulations which are set by the CMS, Center for Medicare and Medicaid. Okay, so in this way, ICD-11 just came into action. Okay, on, as you guys can see that January 1st, 2022 okay so now we are just moving to the evolution of icd 11 okay so before that we were using the icd 10 okay so most of the things are most of the like icd 10 is also being used but now we have moved our uh, like you as you can say that the course to icd 11 okay so icd 11 cm is a u.s adaptation of the international icd 11 system developed by who world health organization the cm stands for clinical modification which adds more specificity for use in clinical settings compared to the general icd 11 system used globally the icd 11 officially came into effect on january 1st 2022 Okay, so this is basically the evolution of ICD-11. So let's see what we have next in this one. So now we are just going to see the structure of ICD-11 CM course. Okay, so what is the basic structure of this course? So I just want to let you know guys that this is a basic course. So we will discuss all the basic kind of things for medical coding course. Okay, so now we are just moving to the structure of ICD-11. Okay, so we will see that what is the basic structure and how different kind of characters are meant for. So ICD-11 codes are alphanumeric, okay? So they are alphanumeric. They contains alpha, alphabets and numerics as well and can be up to seven characters long, okay? So these could be three, four, five, six, seven and up to seven characters these can be long. The first character is always a letter indicating the category of the diagnosis example given, J for respiratory disease, okay? So J for respiratory disease, C for cancers. Okay, so the first letter will be going as alpha. Okay, so alpha, that will be an alphabet. So that is going to be, like you guys can say that, uh, indicating diagnosis. The next two characters are numbers. Okay, so the next two characters will be the numbers, specifying the condition more precisely within the category. Okay, so in this kind of a thing, there we will just have, uh, you guys can say the more explanation, like what is the precisely, uh, what is the basic category of that kind of a disease. The fourth to sixth character provide additional information such as the etiology, cause, what is the basic cause for that kind of a disease, anatomical site or severity, what is the severity, is that an acute or is that severe one, so we will see that all that kind of a stuff in that kind of a category, going to four to six one. Okay, the last but not least, that is going to be the seventh character, if present, if that seventh character is present, then it is often used for specific information like the encounter type, initial, subsequent, or sequela. Okay, so we will see that is that kind of an initial kind of a thing or is that or the subsequent one. Okay, so these are the basic kind of a, uh, characters meanings. Okay, so this was the basic structure of ICD-11. 
now we will see that what is the format of ICD-11 codes okay so now we are just going to see what is the basic format okay so the format of ICD-11 codes can be understood through a detailed breakdown Okay, so now we are going to break down all that kind of a stuff into some categories. So the first category is going to be, okay, so the category, the first three characters represent the disease category. Okay, so the first three characters will be going to the disease category, like what is kind of a disease it is. For instance, J44, other chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. So J44 is going to be uh, equal to other chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD okay so the subcategories there must be sub subcategories the next three or four characters offer greater specificity regarding the condition such as its location cause and severity like you guys can say that J44.9 is COPD and coma unspecified okay so these are the subcategories which are going to explain that kind of a disease in more details okay so this was a basic uh, format now we are going to see some other formats uh, categories as well so there would be some extensions the seventh character is used primarily for injuries and external causes providing information about the encounter example given initial subsequent or sequela okay so we will see that is that the condition that is going to be the initial one okay or this was a second time or the subsequent one or that is a sequela okay so these could be the extension in that kind of a thing so ultimately the format can be just understood by this example that is going to be t07.xxa specified unspecified multiple injuries in the initial encounter okay so unspecified multiple injuries in the initial encounter okay so we have six characters over here t07.xxa okay so this was a basic format of icd-11 cm codes organization of icd-11 cm codes. so what is the basic organization codes are organized based on different disease classifications such as infectious disease neoplasms endocrine disorders and more okay so codes can be grouped by anatomical site, respiratory system or a condition type, example given diabetes or injuries. So they basically these codes are organized in some sort of disease like you guys can say that these could be infectious diseases, neoplasms, endocrine disorders and many more. Also these codes can be grouped by anatomical sites, respiratory system or by condition type, diabetes or injuries. Okay. So in this way we have learned how the organizations are being done. Okay. So there are some official guidelines for coding and reporting so now we are just moving to the what are the basic guidelines rules and regulations to code all that kind of a stuff so there are some general guidelines and some specific guidelines so first of all we will see what are the general guidelines so the general guidelines in one the number one is going to be main diagnosis okay so always code the main diagnosis first the, this is the condition that brought the patient to the healthcare provider example given for a patient with chest pain due to heart failure code heart failure as a primary diagnosis okay so if a patient has a chest pain then what should be that cause that could be a heart failure so we are just going to code the heart failure as a initial or the first step okay so that could be the main diagnosis one next one is going to be the combination codes okay sometimes one code is used to capture multiple aspects of a condition example given i10 for hypertension which includes both presence of disease and its effect on blood pressure okay so in hypertension you guys know that we have a high blood pressure so that condition is going to be uh, you guys can say that there is a presence of two kind of a things that the presence of disease and its effect on blood pressure as well so this is basically going to be the combination one okay so these are the general guidelines so the first one is going to be that we guys need to code the main diagnosis one as we just said that the heart failure one okay so let's see what are the next one the third one is going to be the laterality icd 11 cm includes codes that specify the side of body affected like which side was affected left side right side bilateral side okay so these kind of a things can also be considered so the third category is going to be or the third guideline is going to be the side wise okay so which body side was affected the last one is going to be the sequencing codes when multiple codes are needed follow the proper sequencing rules example given in injuries the first listed code might be the nature of the injury followed by the external cause codes okay so sequencing is also quite important and the laterality is also important so while coding all that kind of stuff 
the medical coder needs to focus on all these general guidelines. So let's see what are the specific guidelines. Now we are just going to see what are the specific guidelines while coding all that kind of a stuff. So the first one is going to be the infectious disease. For some diseases like COVID-19, a combination of diagnose, diagnosis codes can and external cause codes may be required. Okay, so there are some diseases in which the uh, diagnosis code and the external cause codes are also needed. So both can be grouped together in the infectious disease. Next is injuries. The seventh character often indicates the episode of care. Like what was the episode of care? So when is it an initial uh, like visit? It is, is it a subsequent uh, sequela of an injury. Okay, so the injuries can also be considered or uh, recorded. Next is pregnancy related conditions. There are some sort of guidelines for pregnancy related conditions as well. So let's see what are those ones. Special guidelines are used to distinguish between conditions related to pregnancy and pre-existing conditions that are aggravated by pregnancy. Okay, so what were the previous conditions like you guys can say that before pregnancy, during pregnancy or some sort of uh, conditions which are aggravated or which are related to pregnancy. So all that kind of a stuff needs to be focused. Okay. Now we are going to see what are the common ICD-10 or 11 codes in various specialties. Okay, so there is endocrinology E11.9. This is going to be the type 2 diabetes mellitus without complications. Next one is E03.9 hypothyroidism unspecified cardiology i10 essential primary hypertension i50.9 heart failure unspecified orthopedics m54.5 low back pain m17.11 unilateral primary osteoarthritis knee right knee okay so these are the basic coding systems okay so the next one is pulmonary uh, J45.909 unspecified asthma complications okay are uncomplicated next one is J44.9 we have already read uh, read this one chronic obstructive pulmonary disease unspecified dermatology in dermatology L40.9 psoriasis unspecified and the last one is going to be the L60.0 is ingrown nail Okay, so these were the basic common ICD codes in various specialities. Okay, so today we have learned all about the ICD basics. So this were, these were all about the today's lecture, lecture number three. So inshallah, we'll meet in the next lecture with different kind of stuff in medical billing. Next, we will be just covering the lecture number four in basic medical coding course. Okay, so if you guys have any kind of a questions or queries regarding this lecture or medical billing or medical coding, then you guys can let me know. Okay, I will get back to you as soon as possible. So inshallah, we'll meet in the next lecture. Till then, take care of yourself and do remember me in kind prayers. Take care. Allah Hafiz.